Hey guys, the following is a clip from one of my interviews with Coma Castlin. If you want to see the full interview, the link is available below. Hard to say. I think, you know, when we were coming up, we were pretty, like, we were doing YouTube stuff before YouTube. Like, we were... Half we, hour power thing, right? Yeah, like, we'd have, but we'd have to go to, like, the, you know, we'd have to get these VHS tapes uh, printed up and, like, carry boxes of VHS tapes to our show and, you know, hand out, hand them out, hand them out at Warp Tour and all this stuff. So if there was YouTube back then, it would have been so much easier. So we'd probably still be doing the same stuff. Um, it would just be, the thing is, you know, we were a big radio band back then and radio, there's not as many rock radio stations in general anymore. Um, and you know, it's, it's almost become, I don't want to say irrelevant, but in a way it kind of has because, you know, with with streaming services and stuff like that, it's not, radio doesn't dictate what's big anymore. Mm -hmm. And it used to like MTV and radio was like, if you got on those things, you're, and you were, you know, number one on rock radio, you were probably going to do pretty well. So do you think that – is that a positive or a negative that now it's more open for people? Um, I mean, I, I think the fact that you can just do whatever you want uh, and it, you know – I mean, you can, always, you can always do whatever you want. It's just nowadays you can do whatever you want and you can – you don't have to – you know, you don't have to be on a major label. You don't have to be on any label. You can kind of uh, just – you know, you can film a video on your – on your phone and put it up on YouTube the same day. So it's a little bit easier. It's just now it's, you know, there's a lot more content and people have to decide, you know, back then it was basically radio programmers dictating what you heard. So they, they would choose like, Oh, I like this song. I like this song. We were lucky enough to, you know, catch that wave and radio programmers liked us back then. Um, so we got played, but you know, not nowadays, like I said, like radio is not even, you know, it's a thing. And it's kind of, to me, it's like more of a bonus if you're on the radio now. It's just like, oh, it's just, we're kind of on the radio now. What do you think of the term rock is dead? Yeah, it's interesting. I hear that a lot too. And I think it comes from, maybe it comes from the fact that radio is not playing as much rock anymore. Um, or like hard rock and heavy rock, you know, like what we grew up on. And, what, you know, the radio come through the 90s and into the 2000s. It was a lot of hard and heavy rock. Now it's a little bit more pop rock and stuff like that, synth rock, you know, there's like more stuff like that. So I think maybe it comes from that, but touring around the world, I mean, we've played in all the biggest festivals around the world, you know, Japan Summer Sonic and, you know, Germany's Rock and Ring, Rock and Park, and there's Download Festival, UK, we've all these big rock festivals, and they are still like rock festivals. You'll still get like your EDM DJ, you'll still get hip-hop group here and there but most of these festivals are still largely rock bands yeah that's the one thing that's always confused me is like i'm you know i go to festivals myself and there's so many i feel like there's more rock festivals now than there's ever been yeah and in america they still have big rock festivals but i think maybe people also think rock is dead because it's harder for new rock bands to become big um and for whatever reason, if you if you if you were from about ten years ago and on, and you came up, or even fifteen, um, and you came up in the world of when record labels had um, still had money and they're giving big budgets and big, you know, th hundreds of thousands of dollars for music videos and stuff like that, um, then I think you know you're and you came up in that era and were able to be successful, then you're probably still successful now but from about 2000 i don't know eight nine ten on it's become really hard for rock bands to become because they don't have the budgets anymore like yeah. they don't have the prom they don't have the marketing money it's like all self-promotion now um so maybe maybe that's where it comes from too like there's not as many big rock bands that are new nowadays